today we're in a little town in the southwest of Ireland called Dingle. It's probably best known for its great seafood. As you can see, we're just walking along Dingle Bay. You can see all the boats there. So they get the fresh catches, bring it into Dingle, into the restaurants, which are just over here. One of the best seafood restaurants in Dingle right there. So straight from the bay into the restaurants and you get your fresh fish, all different types of fishes. So today I'm actually a bit hungry now. I think we're gonna go and grab some fish and chips. Let's go and explore some of this little Irish town. No doubt we'll stop for a few pints as well, check out the local bars. And one more thing Dingle was very famous for before was taking out a boat to see the dolphin fungi. But he's died. Sad news, he has died. <laughs> when did he die? About two years ago. He died about like two years ago. So if you were lucky enough to come to Dingle before that, I saw him a couple of times actually. Did you see him? Yeah? Yeah. Look, they still have the famous statue of fungi. You used to be able to come and buy your tickets here and go out and see the dolphins. But like I said, no more dolphins. It was quite a good attraction for the town. So they were sad to see when he died, but let's go into Dingle and explore some of the town. Right, so guys, Dingle's just a really small little town. Typical Irish town, as you can see. Dingle, Wall, they have the, all the local shops, loads of bars, of course. So we'll get a few pints. Mark's with me today, he's gonna show me all the good bars and places to eat. So we're gonna get some fish and chips. Remember the last video on Murphy's ice cream. Also have it in Killarney. But what was I gonna say? Because of the time of year, it's not really like tourist season so a lot of the places are still closed but you'll still get an idea this this town in the summer is like crazy busy with tourists like really good night out traditional music in all the traditional bars so we'll hop in a few bars now and take a look like i was saying before a lot of places are closed normally you can come just opposite the bay and they have these little like fish and chip carts they're closed now but you can order your fish and chips and eat there sad we're gonna have to go inside to eat fish and chips today and all the different craft and gift shops so you can buy some cool little souvenirs dingle it's a very colorful town i actually like to walk around here Okay guys, we're just outside a place called the Diner. We're gonna quick stop before we continue this tour for some fresh fish and chips. Like I said, a lot of the popular places for them are closed, so hopefully we can get something out. We can get? Yep. Good. Yeah, we get fish and chips here then. Nice. Two fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the Diner, just ordered the fish and chips. Check it out. Looking pretty nice. I think the fish is hay. So let's give it a try. Got some mushy peas, some tartar sauce, of course. No, I don't want. I don't want thin again. Try it. Let me know. I haven't had I haven't had mushy peas for ages as well. But I'm a big fan of the tartar sauce for sure. Around 15 euro. Kind of a standard price actually for the fish and chips these days. Mm. Island's expensive, guys. This was actually just cooked this morning around 7 a.m. Delivered here and cooked. That's how fresh the seafood is in Dingle. Okay, guys, we finished the fish and chips there. It was lovely actually. First time I've ever been in there. Uh, now we're just gonna head down and try some Murphy's ice cream just for the video. I'm not normally a fan of ice cream, but they have their own special flavors apparently. Have you ever tried it? No. No? Okay. Neither do I really. This is it, Murphy's ice cream. Let's go, check it out. Hello, how are you? Oh, they even have uh, hats for sale. Nice, nice, hello. Okay, let's try one. 
Uh, how much is a spoof? So it's basically done by small, medium and large. You get two small ones and the small ones and two kind of bigger ones and the medium and the large is just three to three ones. Okay, I said we're just going for a small. Yes. What's the more popular ones? Sea salt and honeycomb would be the most popular. Brown bread, quite popular as well. With sea salt, you can do like combo, so you can do more than just one if you want. I said we'll go for the sea salt and the brown bread one yeah. to try. In All a right. cup or a cone? A cup, a cup, thank you. And so Murphy's ice cream, I got brown bread and sea salt. You want to give it a try? No, I'm good. I'll try it. You hold. Cameraman, I don't know which one this is. Sea salt. <laughs> Tastes like ice cream, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it it's actually nice, nice and creamy and stuff, but. <laughs> you can stop off in Garvey's and get some, <laughs> get some shoes. <laughs> actually, the brown bread one's nice. You should try it. Yeah. Mm. That's, I think that's the brown bread one, and that's the sea salt. This is brown bread? Yeah. I'll go with the sea salt. I was expecting the sea salt to be more salty. It's quite creamy. Tried the brown bread, no? It's uh, 5 50 guys, for two scoops of ice cream. It's pretty expensive, is it, Mark? I think everything's expensive nowadays, yeah. It's too cold for ice cream. I know, yeah. But I'm only doing this for the video guys, obviously that ice cream shop is not that busy, but anyway While Mark is being cameraman and I'm eating the ice cream We're gonna walk up to a few of the local bars and sample some Guinness because we've never tried it before <laughs> So yeah in Dingle a lot of local bars and Some are very unique in different ways as you're gonna see when we get up to them now We're outside the famous Dick Max. Time to start this mini pub crawl of Dingle. Let's go inside, check it out. Actually, I've never been in here. It's my first time in here. So, one popular bar in Dingle. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go a few, around a few of the bars in Dingle. You can see like, very like old school Irish bar. Got all the drinks behind there. It's my first time in here, Mark. How about you? What's this, a confession box? Oh, well, you can confession in there, right? Huh? You can have your confession inside your sleep in the snow. So look guys, they've got a little confession box with the hatch. So we'll get a couple of pints in here. I think they have their own ale as well, right? Yeah, Dick Max. Got the Bournemouth staved. Check it out guys, you can go around the back of the bar. They've got the old school cooker here places to sit down and a dog hello mate hello and the guitar and another little place here with the open fireplace so it's like in a way it's like a little house but it's a traditional irish bar they've got the barrel there and this is the scale obviously of the bar the dog so let's go and get a couple of pints of Guinness and have a drink in here, then we'll go on to the next bar. We've got the dog as the mascot, Maggie. Hey Maggie, you beautiful lady. Yes, you're nice, you're nice, you like Guinness. So we've just been sorted out with the pints of Guinness. Explain how you drink the pint of Guinness to the Americans watching. Oh yeah, um, well, if you look at the Guinness, the first thing you do is the tree sop rule and you try and split the G, so the middle of the G, the line of the G. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, oh, look at that. Professional. Oh. I cannot do it. <laughs> I'll go way over it. For, yep. First pint of Guinness for a while, guys. As you know, I've been away. Show me. Good effort. Good effort. I'm on the money though. <laughs> pretty even. Yeah. I did it pretty good. Look. You lie! <laughs> that was pretty good actually. It's nice, yeah, nice. It's actually, it's a nice pint for yeah, the absolutely. first pint. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Pint should be drank when it's dark outside, but that's fine. <laughs> it's a Friday. It's a Friday. Mm. At what time is it? I don't know. Drink o'clock. Yeah. 
The bar, what time does the bar open? 12. It, yeah, it's around 12. It's probably not long open. So, after this bar, we'll hop around to another few bars and check out Dingle. Look at that. Look at it. It's a nice little bar. Okay guys, after Dick Max, the next bar on the tour is called Foxy John's. It's quite unique in here because it's a hardware store as well. So you get a pint in the hardware store. Oh. Other people are filming. I'm filming. Hi, how's it going? So check it out, this bar it's like unique. It has the hardware store here in the back. And we'll just grab a pint. Oh, it's got the back, I'll go in the back and have a look as well. People around here drinking in the back, nice area with a fire. So yeah, this is another unique Irish bar in Dingle. It's pretty cool the way they've got all the tools and screwdrivers and stuff for sale. Power tools. Okay, two pints. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. So guys, I got another pint of Guinness. And in this bar, they're gonna start playing some music. So I'll film him when he starts to play. It's cool. Yeah, and as well in this in this bar, there's another dog. Another dog mascot. It's like a common theme in Dingle. Let me have a look at him. Hello. He, he does not bite or anything, right? No, no. He's as as ever what type of dog is it? He's a Newfoundland. One with four legs. Nice. Poor. Give me your paw. He's so big. Yeah. Really strong, hard to hold. <laughs> he says, don't worry, I'll just have one and it's <laughs> <laughs> It's like, every bar we've been in, in Dingle today, they've had a dog in the bar, it's kind of funny. The last bar you saw the dog, Maggie, kind of small. This dog's huge. I'm going to sing a song, Patrick. I'm going to sing a song now, yeah? We're ready. Oh, me name it is some hard chimney sweep, chimney sweep. Oh, me name it is some hard chimney sweep. Oh, me name it is some hard and a rub both great and small. And me neck was paid for all when I die, when I die. Oh, me neck was paid for all when I die. I have a twenty pound in store, that's not all, that's not all. I have twenty pound in store, that's not all. I have a twenty pound in store, and I'd rub for twenty more. For the rich must help the poor, so must I, so must I. Are the rich Help the poor, so must I. Chimney sweep, oh me name it is Sam Hall. Chimney sweep. On a one, on a one, Like most bars in Ireland as well, it doesn't matter like what time of day it is or night, you will generally find someone playing music in a bar somewhere. Yeah. So it's pretty cool, like now it's only 2 p.m. <laughs> and you'll definitely find someone drinking in a bar somewhere. Uh, more than a few <laughs> as well. <laughs> so it's good, it's always a good vibe, you can enjoy a drink, watch the people play some music. So this is Foxy John's in Dingle, the hardware store in the background, some music on there, and enjoying the pint. Cheers. Yeah. And get in a fight. <laughs> 
Okay guys, that's it from Dingle. As you can see, really cool little town. We went loads of unique bars here, local bars as you could see. The last one we was in like hardware store with a bar, there was some music on there. Dick Max before that and there's like many many more but obviously I cannot show you all in this video because it will get too hectic and like I said it's like January now so it's not really like tourist season but you can imagine like how busy the place is in the summer loads of tourists here loads of music just a good vibe so yeah that's it from Dingle bye bye